everyone. Welcome to the Minuteman University uh, series on Second Amendment um, skill set building. I don't know what to call this, so whatever we're calling it. Uh, this is one of the first ones we'll be dealing with firearms photography. And I'm redoing it because I just did the thing and I did not screen share. So this time we'll screen share and you can actually see what I'm talking about the, for the video. So uh, we're on uh, the website MinutemanUniversity.com which is a place where we're going to put these uh, instructional videos, these uh, quick tutorials uh, that can be used to in give you some direction and some guidance. Uh, we can use it to accumulate and archive links to better uh, instructional stuff and DIY or how-to uh, stuff on how to get your information, your projects, your Second Amendment stuff out of your head and out to the Internet so you can share it with other people uh, to get rid of some of the technology hurdles that might stop people from uh, getting stuff out there because it's a lot of fun and it's useful. Um, so in this one, we're going to quickly talk about photography and we have to start somewhere. Uh, so we're going to start on the skills area under firearms photography. And you can also find that over on the side over here under firearms photography. We're going to create a video here and then that video will live right down here on this, on this page that we're looking at. And we're going to be basically talking about this little section here, how to get started taking pictures of Second Amendment stuff or guns. Uh, first, start with whatever you've got now. So get started now and use whatever you have. If it's your camera or if it's your phone, more than likely, uh, then that's I would suggest starting there. Um, you have to start somewhere to get a knowledge base so that you can ask questions and then you can apply that to maybe purchases or uh, techniques with whatever tools you have. Next, start taking some pictures. Take pictures of your guns and take pictures of other stuff so that you start accumulating some some stuff to work with. Once you take those pictures, move them off your phone or your camera and put them somewhere. Uh, some people use a strategy of a thumb drive or a, a card, a memory card. Uh, some use external hard drives, the cloud, lots of different uh, options. But move those pictures around, get them off of whatever device you're on. This is another element of photography in this in the evolution of, of getting to the point where you have a lot of pictures to work with and organizing them and backing them up is critical. Uh, so again, move them off your phone or your camera onto your computer and then to a second or third place, ideally have them in two or three locations. That's called redundancy or backups. Then take some of those copies and put them on a shelf, put them in your gun safe, put them in your safety deposit box, depending on how important the pictures are, the videos are. And those backups are going to be there in case you ever mix, miss, mix, mess up with the stuff you're working on or if you lose them or they, something happens to them. Uh, next, use those pictures in whatever photo editing software you have. So if you're watching this on a phone or a computer, you've already got photo editing software of some level in your operating system or in your phone or in your software package. So uh, use with whatever you got or uh, do a quick look around and grab whatever is easy and quick. Uh, you can always upgrade in the future, but again, just like using your camera, just like getting experience, taking photographs, uh, this is a necessary step in getting into the hobby is to start editing those pictures. Uh, you, you're not going to be able to take photos that are compelling or interesting or can compete with other people who are making compelling, interesting photos just with the camera alone. It's just really not possible. Uh, so uh, don't restrict yourself to that limitation. So go ahead and start using video editing software at some level right off the bat and then take those pictures that you've done something with and share them on the internet or however, even if you email them to people, even if you literally print them out, just start sharing those photos of people and getting that feedback. Because the last step then is to communicate, have a conversation and talk about your photos and talk about other people's photos. You're going to learn about the cameras that they're using, the software that they're using, the reasons that they take pictures, and the techniques that they use to do so. And uh, ideally, everyone will uh, learn from this and grow. Uh, I think I mixed, I missed, I'm going to miss a lot of stuff from the first take of this. But another aspect of this is you know, Second Amendment advocacy, taking these pictures of guns. These are going to give you more avenues of where to put your pictures, different ways to take pictures, different ways to work with your audience. So you can develop your project or your hobby as much or as little as you want. And uh, we're going to use these videos as a quick get started and kind of some inspiration to get moving. And then we'll follow up with this video in future weeks based on the uh, comments we get here. Again, this video will live here on this website, on this web page. 
and it'll be on our YouTube channel. So feel free to leave comments. Uh, you might be leaving them now as we're live, but leave comments once it's finished in the comments there. And uh, if there's enough interest or whenever there's enough interest, we'll do a live chat with some experts, with people who know what they're doing, with the cameras, with the software, with the uh, distribution of them. And uh, if you're doing this for your own hobby, it's just satisfying to see a lot of people enjoying your photographs. If you're doing it for uh, occupation or for money, there's ways to make money doing this. And we'll explore all those based on people's interest. So again, we want to encourage you to get out there, take pictures of your photos, share them with others and have fun with it. And uh, if you have any other questions, let us know in the comments to this video. Stay tuned for more of these every couple of days until we get out on the road for our tour this year. And as always, thanks for watching.